this is my Sony SQ200 um, quadraphonic decoder and amplifier integrated unit. And I'm going to do a recap because I haven't seen anything like it on YouTube. And so I've already started. I've got most of the little capacitors out. I'll leave a list of the capacitors in the description. And just here are some tools you might need. Um, there we go. Solder sucker. Solder. Some cutters. And of course, a little soldering iron. And um, yeah, this unit is from 1974. And lots of other people have put something interesting about uh, quad as a format on the internet. So I'll leave you to check that out. But uh, let's just focus on the technical aspects. So I'm going to take the cover off. So here the cover is removed. And you can see I've already done quite a bit of work here. I've recapped the amplifier board. I'm going to uh, get around to finishing the last bit on the uh, power filter board. And here's the SQ board, which I have already done most of. Um, right now I'm just going to target the, uh, looks like, uh, seven little orange capacitors that remain. Uh, you can see over here, I've already got most of them. Now, um, these are double-sided solder capacitors, so you have to be careful that you get enough solder into the joint to come through to the other side and I'll try and get a zoom in here mm, it doesn't look very good but you can see there on one of the uh, capacitors I've replaced a little solder poking through there and I'm going to show you the best way I found to get this unit um, recapped uh, with no problems okay so the first thing I'm going to do is remove all of these capacitors and uh, it's actually I found it quite difficult to um, desolder them so what I like to do is take a pair of pliers and uh, put it around the top of the capacitor and gently rock it back and forward it might take a few minutes but eventually it will snap off Okay, so I've got this little guy off. You can see his legs have come off. And then what I like to do is I like to take the tweezers and just straighten the pins. That'll make removing them from the back easier later. Don't have the greatest uh, zoom in here, but uh, use the tweezers and try and straighten them as best as possible. And also remember to be very careful of the surrounding components. You don't want to dislodge them or break them off while you're busy doing this. Okay, so I've removed the uh, seven capacitors that I want to replace. Now I've uh, straightened all, all the pins. You can see there. Now the next step is to get this board out so I can flip it over and uh, take the pins out and put in the new capacitors. Now, word of warning, a lot of these wires are uh, quite brittle. I mean, they've been here for almost 50 years, especially these uh, post windings here. And uh, when you flip it, you might just snap one off or break it. So remember to document all of that. And you can see I've done that before. The little um, rear left speaker connection has uh, broken off, but I just soldered it back onto the post and that should be fine. Now to get this board out, there are two screws. There's one on the left there and uh, one on the right there. And uh, there's one on the underside in the center. And once you've got that, you've got to pull the whole board forward so that these interlocking uh, parts come out and then you are free to turn it over. Also take a note of where the uh, capacitors were that you want to get uh, replaced. Oh, here's the back of the board. It looks kind of intimidating, but if you uh, are careful, you can uh, discover where the parts are that you need to replace and um, so what you're going to do is you're going to heat up your soldering iron you're going to get your your tweezers and uh, when you 
melt the solder. You're going to just hold this and pull it out when it uh, when it's loose. Okay, so I've got these two central ones nice and ready now. I'll just give it a little little clean. Make sure everything's nice. And um, you can see very clearly marked on the board, there's a negative for the negative terminal. Here's my string of new capacitors ready to go. And you will see that you can determine the negative by either the markings on the case or the fact that the negative has the shorter uh, pin to go in. So as you can see, I've got two nice big holes there where the uh, pins have come out nice and cleanly. I had to use the solder sucker a bit, and now that is uh, primed for the uh, new capacitor, but I'll do them all together. So what we're going to do is line up the pins. Just insert. Insert it. It does go in. Okay. Push it down as far as it can go and just make sure it sits nicely. Okay, now... We're going to turn it over and uh, apply the solder. Okay, so here we go. We've got the pins sticking out and we're going to apply the solder. And um, what you want to do is you want to apply enough so that it sinks through to the other side. You should be able to hear some bubbling. And then, um, yeah, cut off the, the leads and um, should be done here. Okay, there you can see it from the other side. The uh, negatives are lined up and I've got a nice uh, bit of... A solder that has uh, come through. So that's done and I'll go and do the other five.